For some reason, people have a lot of trouble with questions that are just about moving around a shape and looking at the different angles. Now, obviously, if this is the real test, you've got to draw this on your scratch paper and notice it does not need to be to scale because their drawing isn't to scale. So just draw your best version of it and then label everything because we got some instructions to follow here. So let's take a look. In the figure shown, points Q, R, S, N, T lie on line segment P, V. Yes, they do. And line segment R, U intersects line segment S, X at point W. Now, all that is just kind of obvious. It's just saying that kind of at W, things don't bend really. It's still a straight line right through. The measure of S, Q, X is 48. So S, Q, X is right here. Uh, the measure of S, X, Q, 86. We got to know how to label things. The measure of SWU, so SW, SWU is here, 85, and the measure of VTU is 162. What is the measure in degrees of TUR? So that's right up here. Okay. So good rule of thumb with angles is just do whatever you can do. And don't worry about the ultimate goal. You'll get there eventually. Just keep following whatever rules. So the first thing I see is right here we have supplementary angles. So those are all together gonna to be 180 degrees. So let's take our 180, let's subtract out the 162. This is a good example where I'm very thankful I have a, a handheld calculator instead of Desmos because I feel like this is so much easier to just type away. And that gets me in there, that gets me 18. Uh, what else do I see? Well, I know vertical angles is gonna put this at 85. So that's good. I also know there's another supplementary angle right here. So that's gonna be 180 minus the 85, and that's 95, so that's 95 right there. Now, here's where it gets a little trickier. I see a big kind of triangle here, and that's the key, is not just to see the angles themselves, but the different triangles. So I see that triangle. I know there's 180 degrees in triangle. I've got 48 and 86 accounted for, so let's take the other two out. Let's take those out and get rid of um, that and see what we're left with. That's gonna leave us with 46 for here. And now again, another supplementary angle right here. So 180 minus 46 is 134. Now, at this point, we could be done. Uh, there's another way to do it, thinking about triangles, um, because uh, we do have a triangle, uh, I'll draw it in green here. We have a triangle here where we have two sides. And then if we got, or two angles, sorry. And if we got the third, we could then use that as the, the kind of missing angle for the big triangle that's kind of uh, RTU, the one that involves the angle we're missing. But I'm gonna show you a shortcut because why not? That's why I'm here. Uh, besides triangles, we should know that there's another angle rule that could come in handy and it's involving this shape, which is a quadrilateral, quadrilateral. Well, you know quadrilaterals, um, squares, rectangles, um, those are the big ones, trapezoids and uh, parallelograms or others. But the, the, the square and the rectangle are enough to remind us of the angle rules, right? Because what is a square? A square is a four-sided shape, quadrilateral, and it has four right angles. So that's four times 90, which is 360. So there are 180 degrees in a triangle. That information is given to you in the reference chart. So there's no reason to ever get that wrong. They literally tell it to you. That, that is given in the reference chart. But the quadrilateral thing is not, but, and I do think it's sometimes very useful. So here we can do it because we have um, four uh, angles, but we have three of them accounted for, right? 85, 134, and 18. So if we take our 360 and we subtract out the 85, the 134, and the 18, we're gonna be left with what we want, angle U. So 360 minus 85 minus 134, minus 18 is 123, done. That's right here, 123. So again, we could have done this in a couple more steps using the triangles, but I, I think that, that that quadrilateral thing is useful. And it doesn't matter that this is a four-sided shape that has no name to it, right? It's not a rectangle. I don't think it's a, a rhombus or anything like that. So it, it's just like a random set of four sides, who cares? It doesn't matter if it's pretty like a square or messy like this it's still got 360 degrees. That I think is worth committing to memory and it's pretty easy because like I said, you can kind of derive it in the moment. If there's, a, if you know what a square looks like. So if there's four 90 degree angles in a square, four times 90 is 360. Like it's just kind of there for you to, to derive in, in a moment if you really need it. You just gotta remember that a square and this weird thing behave the same way when it comes to angles.
So hopefully that helped. This is the very typical angle question. Tedious, lots of moves we gotta make, but really we're just using three rules. We're using rules about triangles being 180 degrees, uh, supplementary angles and a line being 180 degrees. I guess we use vertical angles, that's another rule. Plus in this case, I threw in the, the quadrilateral rule. But these are all things you need to memorize. They're all gonna come up and uh, you're just moving through any angle picture the same way I did. Just keep putting stuff on there and eventually you'll get to the thing you need.